My name is Conobus Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrows. My father was a Nord Stormcloak officer, killed in action, killed in the war with the Empire. And my mother, a Red Guard woman who raised me in safety in Hammerfell. This house is all that remains of my father. It is my inheritance. Yet I feel the darkness closing in, the shadows of a past life fading away as a new chapter of my life begins. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. After a day of fighting with vampires, Carnivus has returned to Rollinwood and gotten a good night's sleep. Something is definitely wrong here in Skyrim. Vampires running amok in the daytime. Villages are no longer safe. But it's time for him to resume his mission of gathering money to continue to build and add on to this house and also to gain power to avenge his father, his death. Hmm, 541, okay, it's pretty early. He had trouble sleeping last night, having nightmares of being attacked by vampires. All right. I think we're going to head back to... Or not, because the carriage driver is not here. As usual, I guess he's sleeping somewhere or off-duty. Tell you. Okay. Let's see. I guess we will need to fast travel then since we can't rely on the carriage driver. Um, a couple of things. Let's see. Can we go to... I don't think we've discovered it yet. And not Winterhold. It's the other one here. Yes, Windhelm. We have not discovered Windhelm, and we don't have our carriage driver. Hmm. Solitude is just way too dangerous. Oh, let's see. Where can we go? Alright, I think we're going to head back to um, Riverwood and then make our way over to Whiterun.
seems to be quiet here. Another wolf. Get ready. So strange this morning. I had trouble getting out, out of bed. I actually felt weaker. I normally would. Oh boy. I've got one of my countrymen imprisoned. Another time I'll try a rescue. Skirts of White Run. Who is this? Is this a necromancer just walking around? Necromancer. Be sick. Really? I do feel a little weak at the moment. Thank you. If you run into my husband, Nazim, remind him that he's not married to himself. Hmm. According to the map, this is the Pelagia Farm. Izmir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Lorius Farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Luca. But you were gone longer than usual. I thought the kids said you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? Something that I need to buy oh, here. Cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, thought of a riot in Helgen. Yes, from and him. Now jesters? Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out here. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skullbar. I'll remember that. <laughs> Excuse me, Skullbar. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you have any traveling equipment that I can purchase? Of course. Excellent. I'll bring my horse then.
Want to hear a little Lord wisdom? You don't really know a woman until you have a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Got the fleet. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? I will go get my horse. I understand. Let's see, how do I whistle for my horse? He's as close as he's going to get. I understand. Okay, he can come a little closer. Is that good enough? I'd like to purchase that traveling equipment. Of course. Wait, my horse just started running and whinnying. What was that? I don't know. It never happened before. Just bring it back to me. All right, I'll bring it back. Really, Nelly? Got the. All right, he's here. I've brought my you horse. Done well. Back. What? That again? I'll teach it a lesson. Don't do that. Just bring it back to me. A man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Okay, quickly, grab the bridle. Huh? What the hell? I don't think he likes you. We've been doing well, up until Over now. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Nah, I don't think so. What? I supposed to do so is that it it would seem so it can't be helped no I will find a way to control it you expect me to believe that believe me when I say it nah I don't think so <laughs> okay What's gotten into you, Nelly? <laughs> All right, Skullvar. I found a way, despite your lack of faith. It's disturbing. You've done well. I always do. Shall we do the trade now? Of course. I want a better saddle and some sacks. For that price? Sure. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Hmm. This looks terrible. What? Feel like some sort of a peddler, a traveling peddler. 
All right, what's in the sack? Oh, a horn. deceptively strong. All right, we'll do this some other time. All right, I'm gonna head on to White Run. I need to sell some things. Watch it. Daedra worshipper. I just a Daedra heart. Huh. What is this? Spirit of the Daedra. Huh. Death, defeat, and fear. We do not die. We do not fear death. Destroy the body, and the animus is cast into the darkness. But the animus returns. But we are not all brave. We feel pain and fear it. We feel shame and fear it. We feel loss and fear it. We feel hate it. We hate the darkness and fear it. The scamps have small thoughts and cannot hear and cannot fear greatly. The Vermai have no thoughts and cannot fear. The Dramora have deep thoughts and must master fear to overcome it. We are not born. We have not fathers nor mothers, yet we have kin and clan. The clan form is strong, it shapes body and thought. In the clan form is strength and purpose. We serve by choice, we serve the strong so that their strength might shield us. Clans serve by long practice, but practice may change. Dramora have long served Dagon, but not always so. All right, this is a bit much. Okay. Looks like he has Daedric armor, but it must be some sort of an illusion. I can't take it. And these guards just standing here with a dead body at their backs. armor. Yes? Why are you staring Let at me? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Let me guess. If you talk to me that way again, you'll die. Cause trouble in White Run and I'll haul you we'll into the Dragon Street dungeon but myself. We must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. You? What? what are you? What do you Please, mean? take Mother Mara's blessing to wash this unease away. What are you on about? Mother guides me to those flickering souls who are yet to cast themselves on the fire for tomorrow's utopia. She sees in you potential, potential which can avert calamity. I, her most devoted servant, need you to believe in the goodness of your heart, in love. Stop with the incessant rambling and get to the point. Forgive her, beloved child of Antropy. 
For all her conviction, she only looks up, blind to those below the clouds which she wishes to ascend. There is a terror, a terror of minds and ideas forming in the West. A congliage of antipathy and repressed hatred is nearing its sum. If this war transpires, then neither the restraints of distance nor time will thwart the canker that will be birthed there. I make this plea to you, special child. Meditate between the opposites and seek resolution in the chaos. I will help whenever I can, but my light is weak. However, even the faintest flame can act as a beacon against the background of deep night. That flame will appear to you in a maze of dark when you most need it. Mara, what is this? There is nothing to decipher. Just take heed of these words. Go west and see. Open those eyes and see that which belies its splendor. Beset by men, gods, kings, and ideas, keep a clear eye. Keep your head above water when you reach that realm. The tides of want can drown any who venture too far from the shore. My eyes, I, I can see again. What, what, what should I do then? You're still speaking in riddles. Huh? Sorry. Ugh, my head. What on earth? What spell did you cast on her? Me? I'm not a mage, I'm a Nord. Whatever spell it had affected me as well. Yes. Yes, I saw. You were mumbling to yourself, almost word for word that of Jayana. Forgive me. Our troubles have put me in a hastened mood. Your priestess had Mara speaking through her told me about a place in the West. Didn't know madness could be contracted. Is this a jest you're both in on? Do I look like I'm jesting? Tell me of this place to the West. No. It looks like you're serious, which worries me a lot more. The closest I can come to answering your visions is that we had just hailed from Evermore, which may be that West you want. If you're dead set on taking voyage there, then a merchant who has a route between that hinterland kingdom and Skyrim should be resting at Markarth. Word of warning, if you care to listen. The Reach isn't a place you want to risk your neck just on the visions of a zealous priestess. Thank you for the warning. Priestess? Doing well? Yes, is there anything else you want to tell me? What did you mean in that rambling? If only I could tell you. My mind was beholden to something truly divine. So much that I can't recall aught that I uttered. However, I have an image of the reach from that possession. Oh, an incredibly irksome feeling. Maybe you can seek out an answer by following the roads westward. Maybe the same merchant who carried us through that web of valleys can impart the same privilege unto you. Seek him out near Markarth, if you will. Very Bless well. Bless you. Greetings. The priestess. She's blind, isn't she? How did she see me when I came through the gates? Blind? Not deaf, so don't make that very astute observation aloud, or I'll be dealing with an unhappy priestess. And I'm as confused as you when it comes to her foresight and sense of self when walking this world. Almost like she doesn't need me here at all. I mean, you're not the first she's approached like this. However, the content of her words have been different when she's done this in the past. Who are you to her? A guardian employed by both her father and the circle of priests from Daggerfall, meaning her father is as devout a follower of the faith as she is. Traveling the lands to spread her divine message, 
I don't mind much. Very honest work, and more than meager pay, to say the least. If you're ever up for another line of work, then priests are employers you'd like to see. Very well. Keep safe. Alright, I think I'm done with these two. Need something? I'm looking for the general store. Good afternoon. Well met, kinsman. What brings you to White Run? I seek my fortune. Ah, so it's gold you're after then. You need only ask about it. Plenty of folk in White Run with too much fat and gold to be bothered doing anything for themselves. You live here? Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Manes. Our family's been close as kin for generations. But Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They're saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. Any place I can find work. Ain't sure if they're taking on new members, but you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall, your basker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Mm, the companions. May your sword be sharp, and your tongue sharper. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe I should go. Let's sell all this stuff I've got. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a, all oh, right. a bit of this, Enough. a bit of that. Yes, I just want to get to the sale. You talk too much. Do come back. Looks like we're good. Yes? How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Nothing of our really? struggles, our suffering. I feel fine. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Tired of Is he nothing? Had enough of fish so and don't fowl. talk to me Treat about yourself and your kin to a choice cut I of steak. son chose his side and he chose poorly. And now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. Yes? I will never accept his death. My son still lives, I feel, huh. in my heart. So tell me, Battleborn, where is he? All right, let's where see something quick. here. Hmm? Pastel. Do you believe okay. I thought the person that we found dead holding him in that farm 
God, it was this son. one here, but He's my apparently prisoner. there's another one of these merchants. He died a storm cloak traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. Okay, you can go. Get out of my face. Yes? What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? Do you... Do you feel all right? Oh, boy. Yeah, take care. Everyone thinks I'm sick. Hello, child of Kinnereth. Yes? Chops and steaks fit for a yarl. Come and see my selection of the finest of the yards. Fresh baked olives. There's small bones of the yard. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming to them. You can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's death. I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword on my own. Oh, Fred. Patron of the great clan. Daughter, to reclaim some rusty old sword? Oh, you know I just well. need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't stop. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Wow. Your children, your fairies. Sapir. Wait, I... Sucks to be you. Make it quick, sir. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. Mm -hmm. So what were you two arguing about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Hmm. Well, you seem like a strapping man. Seems like you could take on some bandits. But if you'd like some help... I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. All right. So you're not from Skyrim, are you? Hmm. <laughs> No, friend. That, I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Very well. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. to Jorvasker, ma'am. Huh? Okay, thank you. What do you need? Um, Jorvasker. I'm told it's right up the steps here. Two at it again. I knew it. Strike when the shoulder turn. He's giving you all this should be good. Nice. Going to enjoy Ready? killing you. You dare fight a Dunmer? Just keep swinging. I'm sure I'll get him. You. Kill him. You think you stand a chance? to enjoy killing you. Just die! I'll see you burn. Ha! Like the bite of a flea. Uh. Fight. You think 
you stand a chance? <laughs> Azura curse you! God, no! You're pathetic! Enough! Hmm. I was beaten by that woman. I haven't seen your face before. I'm watching you. I'd be dead. This is a place for warriors, New Blood. What brings you here? My life uh, why did you join the Companions? I learned the ways of the Blade in the Great War. Nearly lost my life outside the Imperial City. I came home to Skyrim when it was all over. But I wasn't much good at anything other than fighting. Wandered around as a blade for hire. It was a damned good one, too. The money was good, and the women were good, and the drinks were good. But I was losing myself, my heart. I was lucky the companions found me. Now there's a reason to be fighting. The honor of my brothers and sisters is worth more than coin. Of course the money is still good. And the drinks! And just who are the companions? Ask any fool around here and get a different answer. Mercenaries, warriors of honor, brothers and sisters of the Blade, drunken rabble. Take your pick. I've been here longer than most of them. Even I don't know sometimes. I just hope they don't kill each other. Hmm. Can I join? So you think you have what it takes? Huh. Lucky for you, I'm not the one who makes that decision. Talk to Codlack. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. Maybe he is. And just where do you stand on the war? None of our business. There's no honor to be had in the squabbling of Jarls. Hmm. I like Until that Until next time. Though I am going to make it my business. Hello. Who are you? Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. Okay. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. All right. Hello. My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. He should be around someplace. All right. Until next time. They want me to go speak to a Codlack. Wait a minute. What's this I see out of the corner of my eye? A skill book. all the skill oh, look at this a skyforge greatsword it looks very impressive oh hello oh, got more to say yes why did you join the Companions? Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. <laughs> Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. All right, who's in charge? The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Codlack advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Okay, well, thank you. Good day. Good day to you. At least there's some... attractive and... Good to see you. ...kind people that are here. One day when you and I are on the circle, we can change how things are run around here. I don't think that's how the circle works. They're lording it over us all the time, though. Young but warriors are smart to the call of ones. Blood. We all They've lived. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. Um, excuse me. My brother and I excuse me, gentlemen. A stranger comes to our hall. Along quite so easily. Yes, I would like to join the Companions. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. A 
Last I checked, we had some empty beds in Yorvaskar for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I... After you. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. Place for warriors, new blood. What brings you here? All right, let me get my mallet. Oh, thank you. You're gonna hold a torch so we can see. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your foot. Uh, what? Don't worry. One of them is going to take what your was place. that? Some of them you might just be uh, That's not what I'm worried. The new cover look. I can. Not they bad. might get themselves not killed. Not bad. By you. They should be so lucky. Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. <laughs> Very well. I don't understand what just happened. Everything went red. Isn't it night? Yes. I've got a bad grip on my shield. Could you take a look at it? I'm a warrior, not a blacksmith. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see if Yorland is still up here. He is. I actually thought there was someone else over here. Sir? What brings you here? Vilka sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. <laughs> yes. Does Vilkas always send newcomers on errands? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Hmm, someone has to be in charge, though. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the Harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own. Every woman, her own. Are you a companion? Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge. Best steel in all of Skyrim. All of Tamriel. Mm, so I've heard. All right, I need to be going. I have a favor to ask. Really? What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aela. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aela for me. All right, I'd be happy to lend a hand. That's a good man.
so I've got this lantern adjusted so that now I can see. It's too bad I didn't have it uh, working properly when I was in Imbershard Mine. But now it's fixed to the front of me, and I've increased the brightness a bit. Hunt? I've been thinking. We need to be more discreet. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. You know the old man doesn't like it. Let's just not be too obvious. Excuse me, Ayla. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Okay, but I'm here to give you your shield. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Are you new here? I told you. This is the whelp that Filkus mentioned. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkus catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkus in a real fight? I don't care for boasting. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Did you call me? Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, hello. I'm Farkas. Hello. Come, follow me. I'm Carnivus. I like that sword. Skior and Aella like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. Hmm. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tilma will keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. Thank you. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here in Whiterun Hold. Nothing we can't handle. What kind of trouble should I expect? The Falmer. What? There have been reports that they've been attacking people at night. All right, I'll take care of it. I knew you could be counted on. Do what must be done. Eager to meet me, huh? Everybody's in bed. Everyone except for this orc here. Hello. Hello, my friend. Ah, uh, I see you can follow me. Mm -hmm. I better not steal that. All right, what time is it? Nine o'clock. Maybe I should get some sleep. Much better. Whatever that sickness was, it seems to have passed. Hello, friend. Hello. You should probably be in bed. What? You're looking a bit under the weather. I feel just fine, thank you. Good to see you. I never thought they would actually let me join the Companions. But now it looks like they're letting anyone in these days. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You. The latest recruit, right? 
Yes. Wait, is that right? That is right. Until next time. All right, let's see what we have here. Kill the leader of Shimmer Mist Cave. I think I'm gonna work with these companions for a while. It seems like they have a lot that they can teach me and strengthen my skills in combat.